Hello and welcome to Blue Army TV. I'm sitting here for the first time in League One to say Cal United have just drawn 1 1 with Fleetwood Town. Um, look, a good performance from Carlisle, I feel. It's a solid point, it's a decent enough result. I think it says a lot that we can probably feel disappointed with a draw from that performance. And I think Fleetwood might be saying the same thing, to be perfectly honest with you. But I think in the end, a draw is probably a fair result. I think Carlisle are much the better team in the first half, but fitness showed in the second half, especially with these sort of ridiculous amounts of additional times that we're getting now. Um, the fitness sort of showed a bit towards the end, and Fleetwood were just that little bit fitter than us which is you know something we need to try and fix because that's always been something Paul Simpson has been very proud of in his teams is that they're fitter than the other team that just wasn't the case today uh, a, a couple of players that stood out you know Luke Plange being one of them um, he just didn't look fit enough at all um, but yeah th that's probably why he didn't play the full match to be to be honest but yeah it, it, we pl showed some real class you can definitely tell that League One is a step up in quality from League 2 that's that's one thing I noticed is the quality of football today was a lot better than it has been last season from the opposition and from Carlisle um, Finn back and Jack Armour I think played brilliantly well I think both full backs if we can keep them both fit for the whole season they're going to be a very very big sort of point in our push forward this season they're probably our two strongest points in the field at the minute at centre backs, I think Lavelle played well. He was caught out of position a couple of times. John Mellish was man of the match and probably deservedly so. Paul Huntington, he had a very rare poor game. Paul Huntington, and maybe I'm not going to say he can't handle the step up to League One because he's been playing in the Championship for years, but he just didn't. He didn't have the game you you expect from Paul Huntington. I think he had what I would describe as a Byron Webster kind of game where he looks good, he looks solid, but he just has these little moments of madness. Because that that's what Byron Webster used to be under Stephen Presley. And I think Paul Huntington was very similar today, where for the vast majority of the game, he's very, very solid. But you, he, he, you see some mistakes, like he gave the ball away a couple of times. The goal came from his attempt to let the ball play through, and it just hits him on the back of the, or the, back of the head or the back of the neck, something like that, and, and bounces for the opposition players to eventually get a very good shot off and get a very good goal from nothing to worry about yet i don't think but paul huntington definitely wouldn't be my man of the match to say the least the strike partnership for me was weird today uh, jordan gibson and luke plange if you'd give me a hundred attempts to guess our strike partnership i wouldn't have guessed them too and there's probably not a hundred um strike partnerships available I predicted Edmondson and Maguire. Edmondson wasn't even in the squad. I'm not really sure what's up with that. A couple of people say there's been interest from another club. I don't really see it. As much as I like Ryan Edmondson, I don't think he's played well enough over the last season. You know, he was injured most last season. He, I don't think he's played well enough last season to almost earn a move away to a bigger club, if you get what I mean. He hasn't really shone. He's been solid. and I, I, I think he's going to be a very good player for the future for us. But I can't see why another club would come in for with money for him at the minute. And that's maybe a bit harsh on Edmore, but that just seems the most logical thing to me, that I don't think there will be a team willing to pay what we would be asking for him. Or I hope, at least. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Gibson played very, very well. Plunge, like I said, looked unfit. I think he was, he was blown from possibly the 30, 35th minute, something like that, and... He, he just looked a little bit off the pace, Luke Plange. And that's not to say that he won't go on to have a very good um, half-season loan at Carlisle, which he's on. Potentially, he could get a lot better. And you've got to keep in mind that he's he's very new. He hasn't had a single pre-season game, similarly with Sean Maguire. And he will get his fitness up, because Paul Simpson will demand that from him. And he definitely won't be starting, if <laughs> if anything like that. Uh, you know, if, if, if he doesn't maintain his fitness which I assume he will. Uh, Sean Maguire came on. Look, I've, I know he didn't have much to do, but I'd like to see him start and head a plunge next week. I think it's very harsh to drop Gibson because he, he was arguably man of the match, so I wouldn't be surprised next week to see us start with Gibson and Maguire up top because Maguire, although, he, like I said, he didn't really do much. He didn't have much chances. You can see the little 
bit of quality in his game, the little touch, the little passes he plays. You know, you can tell he's been a championship player for a long time because he just has that bit of quality that some other players in the squad just don't have. Uh, for example, the <laughs> one of the substitutions we made was to bring Joe Garner on. Which for me was very strange because look, Joe Garner, I love him as a Carlisle legend, but you've got to think he wasn't really good enough for us when we were in League 2. That's maybe a little bit harsh and I'll get slated for that. But he comes on and he just throws himself on the floor at every opportunity. Even when there's a, a better pass on, you know, he misses a very, very good chance where he just heads it, you know, he's got a header right in front of the goal and he heads it downwards into the ground, letting the keeper make a save. You know, the way I look at that is Ryan Edmondson scores that 99 times out of 100. Joe Garner probably scores it, you know, 90 times out of 100, but because it's, it's that good of a chance that he misses. But look, Joe Garner for me might be dropping into fifth choice striker if we're going to count Gibson as a striker because I just don't think he's got the fitness to do it I just don't think he's I, I think he might be coming towards the end of his career which I, I don't think there's any doubt over from anyone but I feel like maybe he's taken an extra year too far in his career and I hope he proves me wrong and look if he'd have scored that header I wouldn't be saying this at all it's just the fact that he comes on, he's trying to win fouls all the time and they're just not giving him them. I think the game's moved on now and I think this season, especially with the crackdown on time wasting and diving and, and things like that, maybe his game is going to be left in the past a little bit, which is slightly worrying, but I feel like I'm being too negative on a, quite a positive video, to be honest, but the big talking point from today is going to have to be Owen Moxon's world class <laughs> free kick, and I don't think he scored one at all last season in the league. So it's 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 a nice sort of start for him. Hopefully, one of many this season if he was to stay at the club. And I think him starting this game was a big indication that he probably will be staying at the club. Now, what I will bring up as well is the the Charlie White situation a few years ago where. We sold him on, what, deadline day, I think it was, just because we wanted him to play the first few games of the season because we wanted that bit of quality to get us off to a good start. Maybe the same has been done with Moxon, but I just don't see Paul Simpson playing a, a player that he doesn't see as part of his plans. Uh, but yeah, overall, a good, good performance. I think it shows that we've handled the step up to League One brilliantly so far. I think we were, we're up to the quality at least that Fleetwood hadn't, and we'll be disappointed we haven't won that game with some of the chances we missed. Not to mention the referee, um, which I don't want to sound like a broken record, like I said a lot when we were in League 2, but the referee didn't have the best game today, and for a referee with six years of EFL experience, you expect better. We had a blatant penalty that I've even seen Fleetwood Town fans admit probably should have been a penalty to us that when John Mellish went down. There was another case earlier than that, which a lot of people appealed for, that probably would have been a penalty had it not been offside from the start. But after that, there's another penalty chance, and there's a good few that we possibly could have had, And but there's one standout, and it's that John Mellish one, after the one he went down in the box for offside. It definitely should have been a penalty, and Fleetwood Town fans think it's a penalty from what I've seen online. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a weird one, but we're Carlisle, we don't get penalties. <laughs> unless we're 5-1 up as we've seen in Barrow last season but yeah overall a good good solid point a good performance to start the season with and we can definitely take positives into next week or onto next Tuesday even um, when we play in Harrogate which we will get battered 3-0 because it's Harrogate and we can't beat them <laughs> I'm joking of course I expect us to, to beat them now that we're a league above them although it is the uh, the Harrogate curse as people say it's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be interesting to see who starts that game. I expect to see Jaden Harris in that game. I expect to see Sean Maguire in that game to try and get his fitness up. I almost accept, expect Sean Maguire, Luke Plange, because they're the two that have come in the latest that I think are going to need the fitness from that game the most. And look, the League Cup's a serious competition. We shouldn't be seeing it as which players need the most fitness. But it will take second place to the league for now. So I think that's probably what we're going to do. Anyways, let me know what you think of the match. Um... Let me know what you think of the new thumbnail as well. And, uh, yeah. 
Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And in a bit.